it's the start of another video. I feel like you, you're so accustomed to this background now because this is pretty much where I start most of my home vlogs. Uh, but I just took a shower, it only makes sense. Put on my trusted and loved wrap because hair is trash. And um, so I actually started this vlog on a very sad and somber note. I dropped, <laughs> cry with me, I dropped one of my favorite, favorite Korean skincare cleansers by a brand called P Rim. I dropped it this morning in the shower. I have three cleansers in the shower, one that I use at night and then one, two that I use um, in the morning or during the day, dependent on what my skin is going through. So they sit in the shower all the time. The P Rem one is one of them. I don't know what I was doing or what I was pulling out, but the P Rem one fell. And this happened. So here it is. Yeah. One of my favorite, favorite. There we go. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, cleansers. I am just mortified. So it fell and then that happened and I had to sort of cut off the rest of it and decant it into there. Which is fine because I feel like if it's sitting here, then close it up. Okay, if it's sitting here, then I can use it every night when I'm doing my skincare, when I'm standing right here. So it's fine. So I managed to save a little bit of it. Um, I'm not feeling the best today. I'm feeling quite tired. Um, I don't know. I feel like I didn't sleep in the right position or something yesterday because, yeah, just I'm, I'm just physically not feeling okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to use today as a rest day. However, I am going to upload one. Oops. However, I am going to upload one of uh, the videos. Um, wow, that corner is such a mess. Um, however, I'm going to upload one of my vlogs now. So at least content is going up even while I rest. So, okay. So I've been sitting on this couch for some time now. I dropped the vlog, uh, which is pretty much a vlog where I talk about, you know, my latest skincare setup. I make a really gray looking like smoothie, which is <laughs> really weird. And I do like a, a really delicious sandwich. It was so good. Um, and now I'm thinking, you know what, now that I'm here, I should actually respond to my YouTube comments because I am terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking now that I'm here, I should actually respond to my YouTube comments because I am terrible at that stuff. I'm so bad at it that I'm thinking of responding. And I get the absolute nicest, nicest, nicest comments. Like, I... I count myself so lucky. I receive the nicest comments. So if you if you catch your name there, thank you so much. And I actually do pay attention to there are people who comment frequently. Uh, I know Felicity comments frequently. Hi Felicity, uh, Lidile comments frequently as well. Um, blah, 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 blah. Rifilwe comments frequently. I, I pay attention. I see this. Um, Palisa here. Palisa is a good friend of mine. Um, there's Rifilwe. There's Rifilwe. There she is. There she is. She comments quite frequently as well. So I want to respond to um, these amazing, amazing comments. I just... What? 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 She's happening? Please. Um, so yeah, I want to respond to these comments because you guys are incredibly sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, Figile, I know, is also another one who responds quite frequently. Thank you. Thank you just for responding, for interacting with me, for enjoying my content. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, we're on the road to 10K. I've been feeling very, very despondent about getting to 10K because I feel like it's taking for freaking ever. And, um... I'm just trying to smile through it. I'm just trying like, hey, please consider subscribing. Um, uh, but we'll get there. We'll get there. I really hope we can get to 10K before lockdown is over. But that's, that's going to, I don't know. Because we are 9.6 right now. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much to 
all of you guys who follow, who comment, who subscribe, who click that notification bell. I really appreciate you guys. Definitely once we hit 10K, there will be a giveaway. Hopefully the, the lockdown will be much better. And I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, because if not, there will be a giveaway. But obviously it'll take some time for me to be able to get to a store and buy something or whatever um and and send it out to someone so but we'll attend to all of that at a later stage but thank you thank you so much i went to clicks um for some essential items i'm sorry i'm having these salami sticks because i love them i know you guys know that i love them so I went to clicks for some essential items and I thought that I would do a haul. So, you know, we can have a, we can have a haul. We can have a whole entire haul. Um, I was running out of my vitamin C and I completely run out of my probiotic. And I just thought, you know what, let me go and pick those up because I want to go now before there's just like so too many cases and I'm feeling even more anxious about going out because we haven't even peaked yet so there's going to be a lot more cases in probably in the area that i live in as well and whatever so i just <laughs> i'm thinking get all the essential things that you're gonna need at least you know be covered for like the next two months only go when you need to like go get food but things like tissues and soap and things like that, I feel like you can stock by stockpile on, like have a bit of that, um, and then just have to go get food every week. So, ah, okay. So one of the essential items, obviously, toilet paper, baby soft, because, um, and then I picked up. Um, Always. This is actually a funny story because I was talking to Rafilwe um, on Instagram and we were basically talking about uh, sanitary towels and she was telling me that even sanitary towels are running out and all of that. And I saw it today. I mean, I've got, I think, three other packs upstairs. But I saw it today and I was just like, oh, you know what, let me just pick this up as well. <laughs> even though I knew that, okay, it's not that necessary. Um, but the big things that i went in for are these and i feel like it is so important it is so important so imperative for you to um watch what you are eating now eat as healthily as possible eat vegetables eat don't just eat rice and meat and leave it at that eat, eat vegetables uh, eat a lot of fruits, you know, like build up your nutrients, build up your immune system, keep it strong, especially now. And fruits and vegetables do that very, very well, topped by multivitamins and vitamins that you're going to need. So we all know that around the winter time, uh, we take multivitamins, right? Or just before the winter time, we take vitamins to boost our immune system. So uh, this I picked up today because I'm, I've literally got maybe two of my vitamin C um, supplements left. So I picked up these ones, which are from uh, Better Way. I don't know if it'll focus on the, 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 the yeah so these are from better way and these are the uh mega c 1000 vitamin c's so oh my god oh. oh you know how vitamins even smell bad as well so pick these ones up and then um as you know i already have the vita force lady vite uh multivitamins for uh women which pretty much have a little bit of everything zinc magnesium vitamin c b1 b2 what 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 all that jazz um this one is pretty much the same but this one is from vital um and so i opted to pick this one up i opted to pick this one up just went for that one when that one runs out so there's 30 of those in here and then the last one is this which is Ruterina femme i'm actually out of this so i'm gonna drink one now because i just drank 
all the other uh, vitamins that I need to have for the day. Oh, let me show you the box. I'm actually showing you the box so that you can go pick them up yourself should you need them. So this is um, Ruterina Femme. That's pretty much what that one looks like. If I showed you, that's, that's the bottle. The Ruterina Femme is also great. It is a probiotic, so it's fine, it's good. It just pretty much helps um, normalize everything in your system. So that's pretty good. Love that too. Love that. And, um, the rest is just really, I just picked up extras of, um, what's this? Deodorant. I use the Pearl and Beauty one, the Nivea ones. These are really, really good. Love those. Picked up extra tampons because I use tampons. I think you guys know this by now. And uh, picked up one of my favorite uh, creams for stretch marks. This is the Happy Event uh, cream. And really, really love it. It's the antenatal massage cream, but it works really, really well on stretch marks. So I picked that one up as well. Uh, picked up hand sanitizers. So these big ones that I picked up, these are from Biosol. These big ones that I picked up are... Um, 300 mils. I want to have these in the house. So one will be in the kitchen um, Just for when I'm in and around the kitchen washing dishes, whatever just top off with um, With a sanitizer and then I picked up these small ones. These are hundred milliliter ones these ones here oops these are 100 milliliter ones. Same thing, same brand. Uh, they have 70% of alcohol, which is good. You need to have at least 70% or 80%, 70% and above of alcohol in a hand sanitizer for it to be effective. So these small ones I'm going to keep in the car. So this is for when I go in and out of the shops and all of that. Um, as you can see right now, I'm trying not to touch my face because I don't know who's been touching the plastic bags and all of that. So I know that once I'm done with this, I need to wipe these down and then um, put them away. Picked up Gynecard. Now, the reason why I picked up, this is an extra. I think I've got about three at the moment that I haven't used. The reason why I picked up this extra is, so I picked this up because I tried Summer's Eve. And I think I did a, was it a haul or was it something, an Instagram haul or whatever, where I picked up Summer's Eve and I wanted to try it. Summer's Eve is around 100 Rand, a, a, um, a product. It was around 100 Rand a product. This is about 70 Rand a product, right? And Summer's Eve, I used it for about three weeks and I hated it. I know <laughs> I used it for about three weeks and I really like just genuinely hated it. I really didn't like it. It didn't do the things. This is where I'm going to get a little bit TMI. It didn't do the things that it needed to do. Like this works on, you know, um, just you can use it daily and it regulates odor and this and Great, just discharge. It's effective. It's effective to just clean your petunia. That's all there is to it. It's just effective. To, but it really controls odor, which was one of the biggest things for me that I feel like an intimate wash needs to do. I use this and I can guarantee you that every time I sit down to pee or whatever and I take my panties off, TMI, I know, and I take my panties off to sit down and pee, I, I, I'm not smelling anything. That's just like... You know, and I took the summer's eve. <laughs> so I used it for about three weeks, and every time I went to the bathroom, I was like, "Hey man, hey hey," you know, and and it, I just wasn't happy with the way Petunia was. And then I went back to this, and within four days, everything was back to normal. So I was just like, "Nah, I'm okay with summer's." Morning everybody, um, if you hear an echo, it's because we're in my bathroom and me, I'm trying to get a mask on this face. I just took a shower. Wow, the echo is really, really strong. I just took a shower, but um, I want to get a mask on this face. The skin feels okay, but 
I want to get a mask on this face. I feel like I need a little bit of rejuvenation, rebrightening, you know, just, yeah. As you can see, I've got a little bit of a dupe going on because, wow, I'm growing a little bit of a fro. And at this stage, I'm actually thinking, I might just actually wait this out and grow my hair and have a little bit of a fro nyana going on. I never, now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite masks. This is the Calendulin Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask, which, of course, is from the Kiehl's Calendula range. Really, really love this mask, actually. Let me also scoop this one out with the spoon. Just put it on the back of the palm of my hand. I'm just going to apply it on like so. And then I typically keep it on for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to probably go downstairs, make myself a cup of tea. I haven't been downstairs yet today. But I literally slather the whole thing on like, like that. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Um, and it basically says, so it basically says this light, well, lightweight gel mask formulated with hand-picked calendula flower petals and aloe vera bursts into a refreshing surge of cooling hydration, which it is. It is cooling. Uh, upon application to instantly achieve a hydrated um, to what? to instantly achieve hydrated and soothed skin with continued use skin is revitalized for a healthy looking complexion so I've been using this one at the very least once a week because this one is not abrasive in any way and then I do use one that is a little bit more abrasive which is uh, the one from the brand the Himalaya brand I use that one the old one, yeah, I use that one once a week as well. So my skin has been coming right. But yeah, that's it. I'm gonna keep this on for 15 minutes and then I'll be back to wash it off. Okay. Okay, I'm back. It's literally maybe about 10 minutes later. I'm actually supposed to keep this one on for five minutes, but it's about 10 minutes later. Skin feels fine, everything is good. Poking my eye because I feel like there's something floating around in my eye, but everything is good. I'm gonna wash this off. And then I'm going to apply my product onto my face. Let everything sink in. You know what I'm saying? So good. Oh, baby. That feels really good. When I was washing it off and I was rubbing it into my skin, it was warming up the product and warming it into my skin. It felt... Okay. There we go. How does it look? Dry, hey? Ooh. Good skin, good skin. And then uh, before I apply my product, I'm gonna just spritz a little bit of this. This is the Moisture Surge Spray. Very, very good for thirsty, dry skin, right? Hey, hydration, dry, thirsty. These things are working. They work hand in hand. Oh, that feels amazing. Okay, moving on to, yes. My Clinique, uh, what is this, dramatically different um, cream. Just going to blend that in with the spray, that's fine. I don't have time, I don't have time for the spray to dry out. I really don't. Oh man, that feels nice. And then lastly, just in case I find myself out in the sun today, which I doubt I will, but you know, I tend to go outside and sit in the garden for a bit. So, while I'm reading, there's a book that I'm reading. There's a book that I'm reading. I'd love to tell you what the title of this book is, but if I tell you what the title of this book is, it might give you an indication of what's happening in my life. So, I'm not going <laughs> to tell you what it is for now. Oh, my skin feels good. Yes. Okay. Now we can go downstairs, open up, open up the windows, let the sun in, and just, yeah, make some breakfast. I need to close off this vlog. It is currently 20 to 6, and I was sitting in here just um, editing, editing this very vlog. And um, I, found, I found myself dipping into a little bit of a um 
a foul mood. And when I mean foul, I don't mean foul as in angry or agitated. I mean foul as in just down and sad. Um, been thinking about a lot. <laughs> been thinking about a lot. There's actually a lot that's going on in my life at the moment that I haven't... I, I can't quite share yet. Maybe I never will. I don't know. <laughs> but there's, there's quite a bit going on that is not fun and is really just emotionally taxing. Um, but coupled with everything that's just happening in the world right now, um, I, I found myself dipping into the space where I, uh, I became instantly sad. As much as I was editing, I'm also online. So I'm on um, the news pages and what have you on my laptop. And, you know, I'm just reading up on what's going on still in the world. And, you know, um, I was looking at the stats for the cases in the States with regards to the coronavirus. And it is scary. And it made my problems, it made what I'm going through right now, minuscule as compared to how many people are, how many people have lost a loved one, how many people are grieving at this point and are grieving the loss of a loved one, how many people are um, afraid, how many people are going through pain uh, because of the virus, how many people have just, you know, how many people don't have money, how many people are unemployed right now. Um, how many, you know, and then, and then you, you, you take it away from the States and then you bring it here and you look at how many people are going to be out of jobs after this and during this and how many people are going to struggle to get food. It's already happening. Uh, you know, trucks are being looted and, and, and the situation is scary. The situation is painful to watch. I never thought that in my lifetime, I would go through something like this. I never thought that I would live in a period where there was a virus that, you know, just turned the world upside down, really. And it's crazy that during this virus, there's also just so much that's going on. I've never found myself in a place where I'm mixed with all these emotions. I'm, I'm agitated, I'm anxious, I'm, uh, I'm fearful for my family, I'm fearful for my colleagues, I'm fearful for friends. I'm just, I'm just not in the best space. To top it off, just going through a lot, even just personally, How are you doing? Are you okay? Because I sure as hell am not. It's a tough time. And you know, I always say, tough time never lasts. You know, I always say that. But it's a tough time. And I'm going to stop right there. It's a tough time, full stop, because I just feel like Sometimes you can't even pull that energy from deep down within you to just say, but tough time never lasts. It's like, it's hard to even pull the energy of positivity. It's hard to pull the energy of bravery, of courage. I just feel like we are living in very courageous times. And yes, we're being brave. I just feel like just trying to continue and bring some sort of normalcy to your immediate life, even though the whole world is just not normal right now, is courageous and it's brave. And I think wherever you are, and if you are watching this, you are Stella. Gold star for you. Because not only are you fortunate enough to watch this, not only are we fortunate enough to give you this content and we're forever grateful, but it shows that you're just courageous enough to bring some sort of normalcy into your life. And for that, you deserve a gold star because it just means you want to keep going. And that's brave.
That's brave. Yeah. They're right here. <laughs> Tough time never lasts, man. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. It's just gonna take some time. Uh, but let me just say, life after this virus is gonna be different. Life after this virus is a completely new life. And I say use this time. Use this time to reflect on your life, to reflect on changes you want to make to your life, should you want to make them. Um, you know, look at your affirmations. Um, be thankful. Exercise gratitude that you just can. That you just can. <sighs> I hope I can put this up without having to edit this little clip, but I feel like there's a part where I was like, so I might have to edit that out. So maybe one day, three months from now, four months from now, I'll be able to sit down with you guys and tell you the other side of the coin with what I'm going through. But for now, tough time never lasts. We'll talk to you guys in the next video.